ever tripped over your own two feet, like in public, and everyone sees? Ugh, the worst. Now picture that. Yeah. But you're Olivia Rodrigo in the middle of a concert, thousands of fans watching. Oh, no, not Olivia. Yep. Our deep dive today is all about what happened on her GUTS World Tour in Melbourne, to be exact. She's belting out a song, fans are loving it, and then poof, she's gone. Vanished into thin air, or so it seemed. Okay, you've got to tell me more. What happened? Was there a trap door? Pretty much, but not in a planned kind of way. It looks like she was moving around on stage, the lighting was kind of dim based on the videos, and, well, she just stepped right into an open space in the stage. Ouch. You can't really prepare for that. No kidding. And the videos. You can actually hear the impact when she lands. Makes you cringe, you know? But the good news is, it seems like she caught herself, broke the fall with her hands. That's a relief. Still, gotta be scary. Absolutely. There's this moment where the crowd goes silent. Probably everyone with their hearts in their throats. And then, just like that, Olivia's back. Cracks a joke. Lasts it off. Classic Olivia. She always seems to handle things with such grace. Total pro. I mean, she literally says, oh my god, that was fun. And then assures everyone, I'm okay. Wow. I mean, think about that for a second. You're on stage, something goes wrong, and your instinct is to make sure everyone else feels okay. That's a special kind of presence. Right. And it speaks to what you're saying about her always being so composed, even at such a young age. But it does make you wonder, even if she seemed fine in that moment, what about later? Exactly. Even minor falls can have lingering effects. And then there's the pressure of the situation. Imagine the pressure these artists are under to perform, even after something like that. It's a whirlwind tour schedule. Plus, they've got the fans' expectations, social media scrutiny, the works. And it makes you think about those behind-the-scenes aspects like stage setup and safety. Speaking of which, there were some reports speculating about what caused the fall. Right, like that Daily Mail article that suggested the opening might have been a trap door left open accidentally. Makes sense. It's a good reminder that these shows, with all the lights and effects, can have their share of hidden risks, too. Definitely. I mean, think about the pyrotechnics, complex lighting rigs, those hydraulic lifts that bring performers up from under the stage. There are a lot of moving parts, and even with safety protocols in place, things can happen. I bet. You never really think about it when you're caught up in the excitement of a concert. That's the thing, though. The artists and crew work so hard to create that seamless, magical experience. We forget it's a massive production with inherent risks. It really highlights the importance. <laughs> Absolutely. For everyone involved, from the artists to the crew to the fans in the crowd. Now the show must go on, right? Even after taking a tumble, Olivia continued the concert. Talk about dedication. Total trooper. And if and you're craving more Olivia on stage action, she has that concert film coming out on Netflix soon. Oh, right. On October 29th, if I'm not mistaken, I'll mm, definitely wow. be checking that out. <laughs> Same here. So, to wrap up our little deep dive, Olivia takes a spill, bounces back like a champ, finishes the show strong. Absolute pro. But it's more than just a stage mishap. It sparks a conversation about the pressures on artists, concert safety, all those things we don't often see. The things happening behind the curtain. Exactly. It makes you think, do these kinds of incidents, even when handled well, give us a peek into the potential risks these artists face and make us appreciate the person behind the persona even more. Food for thought, for sure.